Okay, before I say the intro, I just want to apologize. It's called the door of departure, not the gate of departure. Curse you, Lego Ninjago! Day of the pardon! Anyways, uh, hello YouTube, I'm Ninji, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest 11. A thousand year door! When am I gonna learn to stop doing that in one breath? Last time! We went for our first dungeon! Got the red ore back! And, okay, Eric, Eric, you should know, what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. So that also goes, what is your business is also my business, and what's my business is also your business. Got it? Good, let's go. Um... Well, now that the Reb Orb is back with his rifle owners, this time we're heading to the door of the Pasha and seeing what kind of trouble we us on the other side. I've got friends on the other side. Yep. Well, I said that song's gonna be stuck in my head now. Hey, Eric, don't get stuck on stuff, please. Oh, new enemy! New enemy, our oh, cutscene. That works too. Huh? Oh. Ooh. Double O! Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? I mean, I was hopeful. Damn it. They found us. Yeah, they did. Let's move. Uh, just stand there. Come on. Convenience? Man, that's right. You shall not escape me, Dark Spawn. Well, guess what? We're on. Oh, he has his own crossbow. Uh oh. You think you have won? The game has not even begun. Uh, uh, Hendrick, I hate to burst your bubble, but I think the game begun when we escaped prison with Eric. Too close. Like Zoinks, girl, we made it! Sorry, I can't help it when 
whenever he does that pipe fish voice. So, uh, where exactly are we? I don't recognize this place at all. Eh. Huh. And you claim you knew everywhere. Knew that would come back and bite you! Well, um... There's a priest here. Maybe he can tell us where we are. Excuse me, priest! Where are we? Or, uh... I guess, father. You are technically not a priestess. At least I don't think you're a priestess. <laughs> to cut you off right now. Well, uh, we have new enemies to go over, so let's hop into it with these guys. They might look like normal slimes, but in reality, they are... she slimes? Uh, well, I've been calling these things the wrong thing for ever since I picked up the game. Uh, I thought they were always fire slimes. Whoopsies. Wait, how are they female? I thought slimes didn't have genos. Well, if we're going off TRG lore, then I guess they do. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Come down here and fight me! Our first flying enemy! Now it's time to see if Rebel Wild Star will do some real damage. Nope. We don't have uh, a certain character yet, so we can't really do that much damage against flying creatures. Unless... Let me check a move he learns in the luminary department. Now poof! Zap! Hold down lightning on a ground and... It doesn't say if it will do more damage during... on a flying creature. So I wonder if we could get the flying creature stunned. It will count as a ground creature from there. And from there we can call on Zap. So I need a bunch more levels. <laughs> volcano. This, this seems promising. Not really. Oh wait, sign, 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 sign. Door departure. Hatsia. Hatsia. However you pronounce it. First up, shiny. Hi! Do I know you down there? <laughs> Wait, did I just jump over Eric's head? <laughs> you <laughs> are pretty much a good enemy to fight against for XP grinding. Bungle John! Bungle However you pronounce his name. Normally, that doesn't happen. He has uh, the 
these guys, the slimes with them, sometimes when you fight him or her, it looks like a him, but at the same time, the drums blocking certain parts, so you can't tell. Sorry, Eric. Can I pet these guys? I want to pet you. Well, I guess not. Evil, mystic, mid-modern, Japanese town? Oh, is this Chinatown? Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. I was gonna say, you say this now. I don't know what you mean. Two travelers come. Their time is as auspicious as the day's new dawn. Oh, this town! My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. <laughs> Rejoice, honored guests. For to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? Okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine. I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. Curiosity. How is that a bathhouse? To me, a bathhouse is like an outdoor shower with a outside toilet. Maybe with his own sink if we're up that high in technology. <laughs> You're not the priest. You're the priest. Sorry, blame Pokemon, okay? <laughs> Of course I have it to constantly save. Well, uh... Eric, you maybe said come as quickly as we can, but you didn't say you can't explore the town first! <laughs> Eric should never trust me for money. No sorry. Oh yes, it's this one up here that has what I'm looking for. For a uh, main character. It's up uh, right, wrong place. Right here. Oh Jesus, more quads. No. Okay, so Eric, you are losing the ring. 
Okay, let me fix this. Sorry, Eric, you kind of need that more than the rain. Main character, you can have the rain. For a little bit. Okay, there should be a glass over here somewhere. Ah, uh, this <laughs> gentleman. You're a young lady. You're not a lady. Your words grate my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. Hello? <gasps> hmm? Ooh, what do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? You're a kid. You expect me to tell you my name? No! Uh... Must be the wind. I said, are you going to tell me your name? Fine. Hmm. Could be worse, I suppose. Really? I shall yeah eat and delete you. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. Eh? That was weird. Okay, where is this mission? Do I have to go around this way? No. Uh, I'm gonna cut through the barn. See if that's where I need to go through. Hello. See the purple dot. Aha! There you are. Oh, we get a boomerang in return. I'm going. Well, it's just so happens we have uh the. Strong rain that uh oh wait do we have the recipe fun time potion did he also give us the recipe he also gave us the recipe worth it. One. <laughs> oh, this is definitely a plus one. Maybe a plus two, even. Plus two. That should make him happy. Ah! 
Hello. Are you serious? I didn't need to buy two gold. There was two in the chest. Ah! I said better. Oh, hello! Rubbery and armor. Ooh, a better shield. to catch up in armor though. Well, I think I know what to buy. Once I have enough money for it. Well, uh... I think we have been keeping Eric waiting a lot enough. And I don't think Eric wants to wait another, like, two episodes. Or, uh, 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 another day, I should say. One and only time you're probably gonna catch your main character and Eric barefoot. wondering where you got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. Sorry, I'm exploring the town. You didn't say I couldn't do that first, so... We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. Maybe not. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? Yes. See anything interesting? You're my partner. I won't hesitate to say yes. Ah, uh, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. No. They have a habit of causing headaches. Well, I can't speak from experience. Sorry, Eric. Where are you? G -g 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 -gas? Uh, did you just say something? No, it's a ghost, I swear, man. Not a ghost. Huh? Is that a good good? I can't find you anywhere. It's a kid. Calm down. <laughs> you scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? Sounds like she's lost something. Huh? Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Uh. Eric? As someone that watches a bunch of cup shows, I know better not to jump to collusions. Do to help. Oh. Eric? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name? Are you like, even listening to me, Eric? Uh, um, I'm Connie. 
Oh, Connie. I thought that said Coraline for a minute. I'm like, no, they did not make that reference. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Sorry. Eric, maybe try to mention I'm a person that likes seeking for items. Really? There's none back here? Well... Excuse me, may I have? I have to ask Lily before they give me back my clothes. So, but come on, yep. Run around all over here. And there's the girl that's trying to find her sister. Now listen to me, I have a simple question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen else. your sister. Well, 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 what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> I wish they told me they only let complete Pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hi. Hey, kid. Good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? Uh, um. Um. Uh, I. Uh, um. Uh, she's. Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. I tried telling Eric that, but he didn't listen. Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, why do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stop. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. My what in a twist? Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? We have to say yes to this. I'm sorry, I'm not an alcohol drinker. Kid, do, do I really have to say yes to this? Thanks. I'm never getting in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right. Let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Oh. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Well, if we're going off of um, that show's canon, yeah, why Bill can... Why Bill can be a... As he put it, a chawhead. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Let's not and say we did. Please? Um. Um. Well, this is quite a conundrum. Let's see if I can make these kids dizzy first. <laughs> 
was my favorite thing to do when I was younger. Oh, uh, something should hop in our lap. Jeez, I feel like a ten. Commander Steve McGarrett from Hawaii Five O. Case is always jumps in that man's lap. Well, uh, looks like next time we're heading to this village inn? Bar? Whatever that building is supposed to be in. Seeing if Veronica, apparently, cannot get kicked out of the bar again. And see if we can find out where her sister is and find out where this one's dad is. Her father. Dad or father? Which one sounds better? Probably father. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, Nissa, can we please get a move on? No. Wanna know why? Because we're saving all that talking for next episode, okay, kid? Wait, next episode? Yeah, you heard me. Next episode. She probably doesn't even know what next episode means. <laughs> See you guys then.